How do you say that? D-U-E-R-S-T. Did you remember Durst is the worst? Ah! Durst the worst, bitch! Durst the worst, bitch! Durst the worst, bitch! Durst the worst, bitch! Abortion is murder! Why is nobody talking about abortion? Because we're trying to ban birth control. Trying to stop a woman's right to choose his fashion is what one side says. And Republicans are trying to ban birth control. Murder, Not very successfully. I guess you're gonna take all the condoms off the shelf. <laughs> hey, dude, I think they're encouraging people to wear condoms, aren't they? That's one of the choices they advocate for. You know, like abstinence, birth control, give birth, uh, and adopt, and performing abstinence to them. Probably. I mean, if is it okay for men to impregnate a woman and then the woman decides she doesn't want the fucking guy's baby? That should be okay. Man, uh, up to a certain point, it's not are, cool, dude. Men are 100% responsible for unwanted pregnancy. It doesn't happen on their own. It's not 50-50? Fuck no. So, uh, so women so don't have any have agency? To, or? We have to ejaculate inside the woman in order to create an unwanted pregnancy. Right? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Well, yeah, but they both have sex with each other. Right, but that's a tiny percentage. That old canard, come on, man. That's a tiny, tiny percentage. I'm saying the tiny percentage of people who have abortions, like, got... Get raped? Well, regardless, I, I paid for five abortions, and I'm glad that I didn't bring an unwanted child into this planet. Well, I mean, that, that is currently your prerogative. I find that to be a bummer a little bit. You know? You don't have to support the child. Well, through taxation and, like, you know, all that stuff, perhaps, maybe I would, or public schools, I would. 50% of our taxes go to war. Uh, that's discretionary spending, I think. It's not this, I don't think that's the same thing as, like, the budget, right? I used to be way more pro-abortion than I am now. I'm not pro-abortion, I'm pro-choice. Well, whatever, whatever rhetorical device you want to use. I used to be way, way more pro-choice, way more pro-abortion. Men have the right to choose what they do with their body to do what with their body though whatever whatever well there's plenty of limits we put on our bodies come on now right 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 but you're affecting another body aren't you are you sure never i would say around like 20 or so weeks you kind of are though it's not just a like tadpole anymore you know After a certain point, it's not just a clump of cells, it's not just viscera anymore, man, it's, it's a kid. Right. You know? Thank you to the Austin awesome Police Department for being out here. What does that say? Land of the free except for women's bodies? It just depends on what you do with your body. You can't, you can't use your body to attack someone. You can't, you, can, you can't use your body to steal something. You can't use your body. There's plenty of limits we put on people's bodies. What do you mean? We have things over people's bodies. Yeah, there's plenty of limits on our bodies. So that that I find that rhetorical device to be very odd. Discussing healthcare and the rights to choose for women right now. We're not talking about murder. Sometimes I think it is. You know? I wanted to ask you a question, bro. So, where's your gun? Alright. But hey, man, look. So, you're you're talking about women's rights, right? Now, I got an I got an opinion. It may not necessarily be popular amongst this group here. But what do you think about the idea that men's rights aren't necessarily respected because circumcision of unconsenting minors is allowed in this country? Talk to your parents about that. Well, I just want to know what you're. Or the moil, dude. Talk to your parents about that. And circumcision is it required? That was your parents' choice. So See, they had a choice too, right? And they took it. To fuck over a to fuck over a man's dick permanently. Okay, so that's an area where there isn't bodily autonomy. That's actual lack of bodily autonomy. It works less than it would if you had your, you know, it works less than if you had it. It should be okay with parents cutting off a girl's clit, though. So why, why do the girls get theirs protected when the guys don't? So when you take away a woman's clit, it removes her enjoyment of sex. She can't orgasm anymore. They, like, so what, men are doing this for a lot of people? Is that correct? 
Is that what I said? Yeah. No, you said why not cut off their clip? What I'm saying is by your logic, which is also be okay. Or labia. Like, Here's the thing. Is regardless of which one. Talk to your parents. It wasn't the doctor trying to talk to you right now about it. Yeah, it is, dude. It's for profit, man. They, it's for profit. I have a 20 year old child. It's for profit. We need a But they make, they make money off of it. It's a service that they make money off of, dude. And live rent free on their property. What's the deal? Why is the government supporting this? So dude's like kind of okay with cutting baby dicks. And he doesn't see that as a violation of bodily autonomy, but he thinks that not letting a woman kill her baby is. This is your brain on leftism, ladies and gentlemen. Nonsensical, inconsistent thinking. It's ridiculous, man. Right, yeah, there you go. They're both funding of abortion. By the way, most female genital cutting is not a clitorectomy. I don't know if you knew that. That's a feminist lie that you were told. That's why we're here. So, you're trying, bitch.